Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about Stella Lumens XLM. When should you invest? So let's do a analysis. So welcome everyone, hope you're good. New to the channel? Subscribe, hit the bell button, press the like button, and do whatever the hell you want. Troll if you want, comment about my hat. I don't know, take the piss. Anyways, serious matter. People have asked for this a few times actually. Stella is a pretty decent, in my view, alternative to a payment mechanism other than the likes of obviously Bitcoin, XRP, Litecoin. It's pretty darn fast. And it's probably gonna get quite a lot of traction over the next few years as a payment mechanism. So, since I've done this, new website, it's looking pretty flash, I quite like it. Obviously, borderless, limitless, powerful, it has links to XRP, do more, more research. I'm not gonna go through the full nuts and crannies of this as a currency, but give you an insight, it is a pretty damn fast cryptocurrency payment mechanism, which is what we need. So. Yeah, the website is probably one of the best in the industry, in my view. I'm putting it out there because some websites are horrendous. It's obviously got big, massive links, obviously Wirex, IBM, etc., etc., etc. It's decent. Do further research. I'm not here to give you buying advice. Of you know, researching is a different element. So we're going to talk about prices in terms of when to buy. If you are already a fan, so please do your research. If I've sold it to you, hey, hey, you know, whatever, but I'm not financial advisor, but we are gonna go and look at one more thing first. In terms of all this, in terms of tools, I wanna just mention one thing about a cryptocurrency in terms of research. Speed in payment mechanisms matter. Faster they are, the more likely people will use it. I use XRP a lot for moving stuff around because it's fast. Funny that, this is just as fast. So we're gonna go into the chat now. So let's look at it, bold chat when it loads, um, as bold as you like, you know, we're gonna go from scratch again. And we're gonna look at the history. Now this is odd, because this is a Kraken chart. In terms of history, it's not been around that long. Okay, it's been quite a slow burner. And then obviously what happened in August 2017, up to obviously that element, the chart died. I don't know what happened, but we have been up here. We know what's happened. All time highs, pretty damn high, obviously, XLM, XRP, similar sort of traits, and it's obviously been a lot higher. So people are probably wondering, well, where can it go now? So we're gonna zoom in on current price live action and look at where we can go. Now we're gonna start off in the daily time frame. I'm not gonna go weekly, because I can't be bothered. I'll be honest with you, I just, there's, you know, we'll see the structure. And when you start looking at where we are right now at six cents, give or take, about seven cents, okay, we'll, we'll round it up. It's pretty damn good now in my view. So obviously we've got bottoms here. Now, whether this is a confirmed bottom or not, I don't want to put back, what am I doing here? Oh my God. We have been lower in the past, but in terms of history, this is as low as it's been for a long, long, long time. Okay, in terms of price action, pre bull run, we're looking at these levels. So when I start thinking, well, where could this obviously drop in terms of the floor? You gotta start looking at three cents, right? As daft as I sound, you gotta look at three cents because in my view, anything's possible if this market turns bearish. I've obviously been bearish for quite a while due to this great depression that could be a monsters with the real life world of currency. Um, obviously people are buying a Bitcoin due to certain elements of halving, but in my view, I think it's gonna be a bit painful before it gets good again, in my view. I think market manipulation will happen now obviously we've got a nice little support bed here resistance as well breakout cool happy days key levels okay key key levels now i want to talk about a few little things here the reason why i'm plotting these on the chart so you can see them is just to kind of put rep rep repetition in your mind to see the turning points when you start seeing things that turn and it kind of looks obvious you know it kind of is there we go rejection boom support off we go you know it it helps a lot now I'm only going to put four on here because I don't want to go too far in the future because it's kind of interesting, but we're going to look at this level here. Now I don't want to create any sort of FOMO, but if we do break out and things get a lot higher, it's going to create some nice multiples. Now six, seven, eight cents, whatever, when you start thinking the long-term effects of can this coin go up to a certain level, it's multiples. This is where people make money when they're buying low. If you are buying, at say five and a half cents 
cool. A good buying point. If you start buying at four cents, even better. Three cents. If this ever achieves and goes back up to all time high levels, it's easily, you know, in some cases, 10x gain, depending on your levels, at least an 8x or 5x gain. We do not know what's going to happen in the future. This is why it's kind of important to look at where to buy. Now, in my honest viewpoint, when we're looking at this level here, which I've just literally plonked on here, which is a probably, you could probably argue, a psychological level of give or take seven cents. We've obviously had a history here before. If I zoom out, you can see all this history here, right? It's not much, I know, but we've got history. This history is a, a big support and resistance level from the past. We've seen it, it's obvious. So when you are buying a coin and you are buying it, this is gonna sound really silly. You don't buy at resistance. You just don't, you just, it's not worth the risk. You gotta wait for the pullback. If this pulls back and it could, buy it. So when we start thinking of Fibonacci levels and stuff like that, you got certain levels which are in confluence. This level here is in confluence with the 618. This is probably your optimum buy point if you are trying to get a decent buy. Like you are thinking, right, I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna wait for this. We're gonna buy it down here. If I just put 618 down here, you can probably you know think of that level. So if you're thinking, let's buy Stella, Look at around the 4.3 cent mark, in my personal view, not financial advice. If you cannot wait for that level, ladder in, ladder in, because ladder in makes it easy. So you got 5.4, 4.8, then you got this level and then potentially down here. So always ladder in, in terms of that. But another thing as well, if you've got a bit of FOMO tendencies and you're thinking, right, I want to buy this, I'm not that bothered about the price, but I want to get a decent entry and I want to know that it's doing well. If you start zooming out, you could probably argue and probably guess and probably say this as well. We are still undervalued. I'd probably say that as well if we have got a bull run. But the reason why I'm suggesting wait a minute just in case things go a bit wrong. You do not want to buy something and it goes crap. You just don't want to do it. It's, it's the worst feeling in the world. Obviously, historically speaking, we can go, well, it's been a lot higher, Ash. Well, yeah, it has. So if you're looking to buy, you've got to wait for this level to then become support simple as that so in terms of the eyeballs and you want to see this get your little tool out and this level has to hold it's rejected in the past yeah you may get some quick wins but if you're looking to be an investor an investor you want to kind of make sure you get this right because this is the more risky side of it this is why i'm saying well just wait because you could have a little impulse that pops up and then it uses this as the support bear the foundation and then you could argue, well, yeah, we could go up like this. Cool, up to 10 cents. It's possible, right? What's that 10 cents? Well, all kinds of other rubbish up here. So that is that. If you've got FOMO things, if you cannot wait, wait for the breakout, wait for the retest. If it is support, go for it. If it doesn't and it fails, well, you've lost money. So that is if you probably trade in more than anything, positional hold. But in my personal view, I wouldn't risk it for a chocolate biscuit just in case, because this is obviously hit it. We are going to turn around. You know, it depends on what happens with Bitcoin. Right now, I'm watching Bitcoin top left. You probably can't see it on the screen. It's ranging between the 8K level, 618 key levels. It's a huge area. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you like this video. In terms of investing, just a bit of investment strategy, you know, in my view, you know, key psychological levels, you can look at the chart structure of this, even if you look on the weekly time frame, just to give you an insight, just if you start looking at certain levels on the weekly time frame, if you look at where things stop and turn around, at where they are good buy zones, when you start seeing things turn around, and even you could probably argue even here when the bodies are turned around, just remember what goes up does come down. And when you start looking at this weekly time frame, and I know I'm going off tangent, but when you start thinking, well, what could happen? Well, would you be upset to think that, well, that is still, in my view, still a bearish structure. When you start thinking, well, what is this? And, you know, obviously it's not, not, not ideal. It's not perfect, boys and girls. Don't criticize me in the comments. But, if this is, maybe, is it possible? Is it valid? You could probably argue, oh, I've probably broken it there, but let's just go from that point there. 
you know, it isn't too far away. As I say, trend lines for me in crypto aren't the greatest. You can cheat on them. But if you're going to be valid and have a valid point, what would suggest of a nice investment at 2.7? So let me just mark that on there. Worst case scenario there. So video done. I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you want any more coins to be kind of looked at in terms of where can you invest. We've got orders everywhere. Order could be here. Order could be here. Order could be here. It's just about patience.